Welcome, Collective. Welcome to the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. If it's your first time, I invite you to come in and enjoy an energy reading. There may be some messages inside of this reading for you if you were drawn to this video. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed you guys. As always, sending love and light. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and well. Happy birthday to my Virgos, most definitely. So, let's jump into our inner fucking peace affirmation of the day. And yes, I do cuss on this channel, y'all. I try not to be excessive. I try not to cuss like a sailor. I am still a lady, but I do cuss, nonetheless. Visualize world peace. I love it. So, peace. It start with it starts with releasing the bullshit. Can we talk about that? No matter what you're going through, somebody is in this energy. Baby, shake it off. Cuz that is the song that I have had in my head all day. Working, it just it just popped in my head this morning and I don't even I don't think I've heard this song in probably two years. Honestly, I like the song, but I don't think I've heard it to just pop my head. It was just like shake it off. It, it was a, a very light, fun energy of be bothered with it for why. It's only going to be what it's going to be. So somebody is learning to let things go in the natural order that it is. And that's great. Let's not take on anything that we don't have to take on. You feel me? I have already prayed and saved off camera as I do every reading. I pray for my family. I pray for your family. I pray for us as a family. So I need not hold y'all up with that. Definitely accepting prayers. Unless you're praying on my downfall and then you got to wait. But nonetheless, <laughs> talk about it. Not my Phoenix. No, that wouldn't be y'all. But you know, it is what it is. So. I hope everybody is getting the wishes granted that they want granted. Hopefully you guys are manifesting the things into your life that you want and need to be a pro productive, healthy human being. Spirit, give us some wishes wisdom so we know the things that's going on around us. Thank you. First off, we got death. Baby, something's over or transforming. Death isn't always death. Sometimes the death brings a rebirth. Sometimes we got to let things die. What I tell y'all, somebody may be in the energy of shaking it off. Y'all might be like, you know what? It's done and over for me. And I'm okay with that. Somebody's growing. Spirit, what else? What else we got? Protection. You guys are being protected at this time. So definitely send prayers to your ascended masters, to your guardians, to your angels always. Because there is some kind of protection around you. There's a light that is protecting you at this time. Spirit, can we get one more? Oh, okay. The spirit said, you don't run this. You just work here. Because we got three. We got witch's cottage. Not only do you have protection, you have security. Something is being protected and secured. Okay, I like this. I like this. What I told y'all, death ain't always death. It's a rebirth. And we have rebirth coming in. That is um a wintertime. Yule is wintertime for me. So that may be a wintertime energy. You may be going through a rebirth it may start now. It may be in the winter time. Whatever is going to happen may happen in the winter time a little more in depth. Like you may end up in a dark night of the soul. Fertility. Now, fertility to me means a multitude of things. But first and foremost, I just think it is birthing things. Now, things could be actual human beings <laughs> or it may be ideas. I don't know about anybody else. 
but I do some of my best work during the winter months because to stay away from, for my own self, to stay away from depression and things like that, a lot of my major losses happen during the winter. Um, if you've been on another video, I lost my first husband, you know, that's a major thing. So, uh, my mother who is gone, God rest her soul, is a winter baby. So, like I said, my major losses pretty much have to do with the winter and that is, I, I'm not the only person that feels like the winter time is a downtime. It's just the fact it's dark outside. We're not getting a lot of vitamin D. We're inside. We're not interacting with people. So, you know, I try to do my best work during the winter. I'll buckle down and you'll see me in spring. And they like, you done opened another business? Or y'all done did this? Y'all went there? Yes, I did because <laughs> I'm not going to sit around and be depressed. Ooh, confirmation, baby. I am sorry, y'all. Um, if you're new, I do run multiple businesses and I am a mother, so I don't turn my phones off, but I do turn them down. So let me handle that right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why that's even that loud, but we're going to turn it up. Well, you know what? A lot of times in the wintertime, I'm knocking the boots too, if I got a chance. LOL. I'm just messing with y'all. Telling some truth, but you know. H-Town is in the background for those of us that are grown and sexy. Not to tell anybody's age, but if you know, then you know. Let's get some kippers out here and see what's really good and what's really not. What we're not going to do is play games about it. <sighs> oh my goodness, I see imprisonment. We'll see what comes out though. I see courthouse and imprisonment. But the spirit is going to show us what we need to know. I just ask that you guys don't force it. Kind of just let the spirit move how it moves. Spirit, can we get some kippers on this situation? Ooh, expectation. Somebody's expecting something, y'all. What y'all expecting? Talk to me. Tell me down in the comments. I, I'll tell y'all what I'm expecting. I'm expected to make some beautiful memories this year. I got some things planned for my loves. I am ready. What else, Spirit? What else? Give us more. Okay, so somebody don't want us to know something. Whatever's going on. What's, what's good? Oh, that's why. That's why. Because there's change coming. There's some kind of change coming, but there's some kind of secrets with family room. Now, I'll tell you guys, as I say quite often, it could be you, it could be a person in your energy, right? So, take it how you get it. We got main female. There's a main female involved in this situation. And main female is, I probably should line them up better. But I was trying to make sure I could still see. Okay, so we got rebirth. We got fertility. We got security. We got protection. Y'all, I don't know. But I've been in this fun, light energy pretty much all day. I was working and stuff. And, you know, death with expectation. But like I said, I didn't feel like this death was an actual death. I felt like it was a rebirth. So somebody is expecting some kind of change. Spirit, what else for fertility? Official person. Ooh. Okay. So let's see. And at the bottom of the deck, we got courthouse. Let's let's just jump into it and see what it is. Let's get some tarot here, y'all. Yes, my son is still up. My my children are so up but um y'all will hear him he's doing his thing he has his headphones on doing his thingy thing thing
trying to get a pretty good shuffle for us so we get some good messages messages regardless we're going to get the messages that are supposed to be shown to us at this time i, I don't know why i said good messages um positive energy is what i'm looking forward to Drop the deck. Spirit, can we get something for expectation? Mm -hmm. I don't think that was supposed to go that way. We got the Queen of Cups coming out. Now, it did fly out crossing. I don't know if it's because I was in a weird position. I am going to take it in the upright. The Queen of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see the Queen of Cups as Cancerian, though. So, First out, we got water on the board. You may be dealing with a water sign. You may be a water sign. Somebody is in this Queen of Cups energy. Somebody is loving, intuitive, beautiful, nurturing. So that is where we're starting. Let's see what else. Okay, then we got the Three of Coins. Somebody wants to work on something with this Queen of Cups. Okay. Like I said, place yourself in the reading where you go. Don't force it. And then we got the the Seven of Wands. Um, the Seven of Wands coming in in reverse. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word reverse. I'm looking at this card. But someone is, is feeling a little intimidated to bring this offer towards this Queen of Wands. Is it you? Mm. Hmm. Okay, Spirit, what about the Seven of Wands? The Page of Swords. Someone is strategically thinking, like, how to make this happen. Somebody's in their head, like, majorly. And that's, that's your air signs. That is your Aquarius, Gemini, Libra sign. So, you know... The air signs are the thinkers. Spirit, why is this person being strategic? What's up? Oh, okay. We need more than just the devil because it could be excessive. It could be some other shit. Let's see. Y'all. This person is thinking excessively about bringing this offer forward. That's what the devil is. With the eight of wands, you know, they're trying to come in quick. If you see her, she look like she fast. She fast. But, you know, the devil is... It is a negative energy in some cases. That's why I asked for a secondary card, a secondary clarification, because I didn't want to just say, oh, it's something negative. No, it's not. This person is really really in their head about how to bring this offer to this queen of cups now place yourself where it goes because something may be over but they don't want it over now with this woman waiting and expectation they may expect you not to be receptive of this offer that is what i'm feeling intuitively but that doesn't mean that that's where you are, if you understand where I, I'm, what I'm saying. Spirit, what for change? They see that they can have a brand new financial stable beginning with you. Whoever you're thinking about in this reading has been thinking about this obsessively. I don't know why I can't get that out, but obsessively thinking about this offer this offer is protected by the universe at this time now there may be some things in the way there may be some bumps in the road that does not mean that it won't work I tell y'all the same thing i tell you every time pray to your spirit guys pray to the entity that you subscribe to and ask ask which way you're supposed to go spirit what else they, ooh, this is nice. 
you can plead this person. They see you as their ten of cups. Like all they love rests with you. And the crazy thing is that is falling over change and family room. Listen, I can't mm, that might be a secret. Is this spirit giving more? The world. Yep. The cycle was complete. They 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 want another cycle with you, baby. They want to run it back. The world is, um, it's about completions of cycles, but it's also, I see it as divine intervention. Like, it was something that had to happen. So, you came into this person's life, and for whatever reasons you guys are not in connection right now, you guys may be on a break, maybe on a timeout or something like that, or maybe you're just feeding this person with a long handle spoon um but they know and they realize that you bring them complete happiness the world is taurus virgo capricorn energy so you could be dealing with that sign as well so spirit what for the world clarify the world please whoever this is They were arrogant at a time, right? That might be why you walked away. But this person is learning. They're learning a lot with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, they're discontent with whatever options they have. And they are motiv motivated to have a brand new beginning with you with the Ace of Wands coming in. The Ace of Wands is like somebody that's really, really passionate about something. Spirit, give me one for the Ace of Wands, please. The Eight of Swords. I told y'all they were scared. They stuck in their head about how to bring this offer. They see victory with you. They see the offer. They see you as their ultimate happiness and love. But there's some kind of self-doubt. Maybe it's how you guys interacted, how things were left, or maybe some things were left unsaid. I don't know. Um... Y'all know your situation better than me. I'm just saying. This person have is having a little bit of self-doubt. Again, we have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy with this self-doubt. But the crazy thing is they're passionate about it. They're in this Ace of Wands energy, which would be like your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I see... The ace of the ace of wands more like a Leo energy. Somebody that's dominating, like I'm going for what I want type energy. But then how can you have that? And you in your head, like you gotta get one with yourself, baby. You got to put on. What Jesus say? I put on for my city. Put on. If you really, if this person really cares about you, or if it's you that's in this energy, put on. Whatever it is. Like, stand up tall. Stand in it. You got to stand in your truth. Like, I don't know who needed that pep talk, but okay, maybe it's for me because I know it's something that I'm supposed to be doing. It ain't got nothing to do with love. It's definitely about a, a business venture, but <laughs> maybe that part was for me. Ooh. Uh, the tower in reverse. The tower in reverse is, um, again, divine intervention, y'all. So the universe stepped in because this needed to happen. You walking away, them walking away, the separation needed to happen. Why? Because growth needed to happen. So y'all know how I feel about that. I'm still going to say what I say. Like certain things bring growth. Okay, so this person, the tower had to happen because this person was juggling. They were trying to find a balance in their life or in the situation I'm not sure exactly how much, you know, balance there wasn't or how, how much out of balance the situation was because I wasn't there. But I do know this person is trying to find balance. And they don't want you to walk away with the Eight of Cups in reverse. They don't want you to walk away, baby. They want you back. They in their feelings. You might not even know it. 
I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is feeling like feelings. And there's nothing wrong with feelings. I love feelings when, you know, people are expressing them. They got to get the, out their head and go ahead and express it, though. So you know that what they feeling. Aw. They trying to, trying to invest with you with the seven of coins because they know that they're going to see a, a positive return on their investment. So, you know, there's... There's a, it's feeling like there's some growth going on. So that may be, I may be feeling the rebirth of this person's energy because whatever death was, I don't really feel that. I feel growth. I feel things moving, beginning to move. That's fertility, something growing, something coming into fruition. So yes. So something may be happening in winter. Spirit, what for seven of coins? Oh, this person is healing. Maybe you're healing. Are you healing? You just chilling out. Hey, it's a well, de well deserved rest. You know? Who out here messing with this air sign? Because there's so much air. It's, it's passion. It's air out here. <laughs> okay. Spirit, give me one more. This, all of this stuff is probably hidden. It's probably hidden from you. You may not see it. So that may be what the protection and the security is. Is you may think that this person then went on living a life and y'all separated and everything is what everything is. But ultimately you are in this person's heart and definitely in their mind, baby, in their mind. They probably popping your head often because it's so much air energy out here. The air energy is kind of like the major thinkers of the um zodiacs they think a lot so the moon something that's hidden that is definitely cancer pisces scorpio the moon i see as cancerian because cancer is ruled by the moon major arcanas so less you there may be uh capricorn somebody may be dealing with the capricorn with the devil out here your person may have capricorn in their chart even if these are not the signs i don't always call it the signs because people can embody different energies sometimes you got to take on a different energy to get a different result you feel me so this all of these things are hidden from you at this time at the bottom of the deck oh isn't that beautiful the empress so you're nurturing you're creating that's that again, that fertility. What is what's under the, the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups? No, we can't we can't make it up. I love these readings. Um, you got the Ace of Swords, you got the King of Cups, you got the Empress. Because yes, because yes, Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. King of Cups, that's your mate. That's your divine counterpart, baby. The Empress is out here because she brings forth birth. She births new things, new ideas, even children. <laughs> if that's something that's in your cards and something that you're called on to do. If you don't want it, leave it on the table, baby, for somebody else. But there's a lot of love out here, y'all. Come on now. Should I? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it one time. Let's go ahead and pop a couple Zodiac and see if what's going to come out because we don't know. Sorry, y'all. A lot of days I get called and I have a couple decks. Today just felt like one of those days where be ready for anything. And I really did. But this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I love it. Hopefully you guys, it resonated with you guys. We're going to get some... Zodiac Oracles, and then we'll get some Alice in Wonderland Oracles, and I'll let y'all go. Alright. Spirit, what sign might the collective be dealing with? Uh, it's the end of the reading, but I probably should have told y'all this is a collective general energy reading. Okay, we got Virgo out here first. Somebody may be a Virgo or may have Virgo in their chart. Mm. 
Matter of fact, I think I just posted a, a Virgo reading. If not, it should be uploaded it shortly. Spirit, what else? We got Aries and Capricorn. I think I called out Capricorn earlier. Aries and Capricorn. Okay, we'll get a couple more. Let's see. We'll get two more. Spirit, what else? We got Pisces. We did not have, but well, we do. We got Cancer Pisces Scorpio out here too. Spirit, can we get one more? One more for the collective. We got the moon. We got cancer again with the moon. So this heavy on the water energy, definitely. I love that card. You guys have someone in your energy that could be any of these signs. They may have it in their chart, but they may also just be embodying that energy. So let's go ahead and get some Alice in Wonderland oracles. Get some messages from the universe. So just be patient with this person. This person is going through a rebirth and a transformation. They want to come back to you, but they want to come back changed. So this person may come back in a totally different energy. Just pay attention. You know, we have to pay attention. Um, the red flags, if they're there, then don't ignore them. That's what I give you guys. Again, same thing I said earlier. Bump the whole spread. Pray about it. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. But isn't that why we watch Tarot as well? Spirit, what does the collective need to know about this energy? Painting the roses red. Covering up errors. Okay, so what did I say? Pay attention to the red flags. Talk to this person. If they're doing things that you don't like, like trying to skate past situations or sweep it under the rug, talk to them about it. Communicate with your person and let them know that you guys can't do that this time because it's ultimately going to lead back to another separation. You're not going to be able to stay. Spirit, what else? All in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, conception. What I told you, is somebody having a baby? Somebody might be having a baby with all this fertility out here. But again, I'll tell you guys that you may be birthing new ideas, new projects. Maybe it's the birth of a new relationship. I don't know. Y'all tell me down in the comments. Let me know. Whatever it is, I wish you success. Spirit, what else? Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan. And go in the right direction. Okay, now. This is just like when I tell y'all, get one with the universe. Tell the universe what it is you want, what it is you need, so that it can come to you. Because, you know, when we're manifesting, we're bringing in the things that we want. Stay positive, y'all. I know some days it do get hard, especially going into these winter months that are darker. Um, listen to some affirmations. I might have to start finding y'all some other affirmations because I really have been slacking on my affirmations, y'all. I'm so sorry. I still love y'all, though. We got, I want to be queen. Declaring freedom, passing a test. Okay. So someone is in this queen energy, and this is probably this queen of cups. You know what you deserve. You know 
intuitively a lot more than you probably lead on. It, the Queen of Cups is almost as psychic or intuitive as the High Priestess. The High Priestess knows things. She just don't speak on it. The Queen of Cups might speak on it. For real, for real. But regardless of whatever, the Queen of Cups is still going to nurture you. She's still going to take you in and be motherly and all the things that people are attracted to. You know, it's kind of like the moon because Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. So, I don't know. Somebody's in this queen energy. Live it up, baby. I love it. Spirit, what else? Choices. Somebody is feeling blocked or restrained. I do not feel like this is you, baby. I feel like this is your person. Your person is stuck in a head now. And this is causing them to feel blocked or restrained. Or maybe you guys got this person blocked. Okay, now, if this is your person and you want them back, unblock them. I'm not saying go for the tomfoolery, but just unblock them. Be real easy and see where it goes. Be open. Again, if you don't want this person back, leave them blocked. Tell the universe you want something new. Manifest something new in. That's how we do that because the universe ain't going to never tell you no. It might tell you wait a little bit, but the universe ain't going to tell you no. The universe wants you to be happy, ultimately. And I am very glad everyone made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate the first subscribers. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. I love the comments, the interactions. Um, so... If you guys love how I read, you vibe with the Soul Tribe. Because like the Phoenix, we were left. They thought we was out, but we rose from them ashes. And we doing better than ever. Share the video with someone that might need it. Help the, the message get out there to someone else that may need uplifting as well. So, until next time, I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. But above all... I wish you love.